Hello family, how are you doing this Makena J? If you see me for the first time, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And yeah, as you can tell by the title of the video, I want to show you one of the like one of the coolest neighborhoods here in Kampala, Uganda. I'm coming straight out of Uganda. And as you can tell even from the residential place it's a cool place it's a it's really a nice place where where like when you have money money you can live here um i don't know the prices of the houses let's go out maybe we'll find out how much they charge for the like the houses and all that but as you can tell from the neighborhood it looks pretty nice and i just love it so guys let's walk around it's called bukoto there are so many of them there are so many of them and bukoto is just one of those places that are so cool not a lot of people like you can always tell a rich place just how it looks if it's crowded how clean it is you don't even without asking the prices of of the place like if it's in the city it's not crowded it's clean and it has nice residential houses you can always tell that this place is a place for rich people you can always tell you don't even have to know the price of anything <laughs> yeah so guys we'll walk around the neighborhood and if i'm lucky enough i'll be able to get someone who can tell us how much they charge the houses here I'm waiting. Yeah. I don't know if we can find street food. Guys, I wanna I wanna Google Bukoto for you to just confirm to you it's one of those richest neighborhoods. I mean it's let me finish Googling it and I'll let you know. So guys, I just found it. Bukoto. It's called Bukoto. As you can see, look at the neighborhood. Oh my god. And on, on Google, they say it's located just north of the city center. Bukoto is a bustling neighborhood that offers a mix of residential and commercial properties with its li lively markets, colorful street vendors, affordable housing options. Bukoto is a popular choice for both locals and expats. The neighborhood is also home to several international schools and hospitals, making it an ideal option for families. Guys, I honestly thought that, you know, the first time we came here, um, I didn't know there are such neighborhoods here. I didn't know. And when I came here, I've never felt more at home. It's peaceful. As you can tell, it's just so peaceful. And as you can see, there's a vendor here. Some things being sold over there. Umecha bag. Ikona do. Zoti. Okay. So guys, as you can see, there's some very nice, nice neighborhood. This is a famous Muki. Mkisaramu, transformer like if you're coming to this side you just say I light me at Mukisi Ramu Transformer. Yeah, so it is just such a nice neighborhood. Hi, hello. How are you? Um I'm good too. If I was looking for a house here, residential house, how much do they cost? Like a one bedroom. Mm hmm Oh, you're new. Are you new here? I'm not new, but this is not new. It's not, oh, you're staying at home. All right. Thank you. Oh, there's a rental over this side. The next one. Okay, thank you. Guys, that one is living at home. So, hey. 
Yeah, some people have built home here. It's very peaceful, as you can tell. What do you think of this place? This place is nice. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like everything here. You feel, you feel like you're at home. Yeah, it's just so much like home. I think this is the rental place they were talking about. But you know, you can just go in with cameras, recording people. <laughs> Oh my god, but it looks like it's an expensive place. Oh, sure. Yeah, looks like a very expensive place. And today and, we were, uh, yeah, okay, according to my thinking, it's like this place many people are uh, staying at their homes. Yeah, there is some dinner. Is there a road here? Oh, this one going like that. So guys, we were actually at another place called Kololo. I was told that is the most richest. And today we were at the Kenyan embassy. We went there for some issues. And guys, guess what? That place is so, like it has a lot of government offices, like Kololo. If you wanna live in the richest, richest neighborhood in Kampala, live in Kololo, go to Kololo and yeah there's so many of them and this is just one of them this is a shop over here as you can see so there are quite a lot of like places like these services you can find them like the shops and all that that's so nice <laughs> music let me cut Come <laughs> <laughs> Na kuna ile green ishi na kaka go pant. Hey, mm. as you can see, places to eat food. And if you want to register your line, you can go over there. I'm against the sign. <laughs> Guys, I just wanted to show you how clean it is. This is a drainage system. Let me just bring the camera closer. This is a drainage system. And as you can see, it's completely clean. It's really clean. Oh my God. Even so, I don't think Nairobi, even though it has one of those richest places, are they this clean really? Like this is drainage water. It's an open drainage. The roads are clean. I just love this neighborhood. Just so nice. Oh, look at this place, guys. It looks so, so beautiful. The drainage is something else. Hello. Hi. Can I ask you something? Um, okay. I'm trying to look for a house here. How much do one bedroom cost? One house, one room. A one bedroom house. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, just ex, ex, an estimate, like something like that. This side, you are. This side. This side, you can't find a room. You can find only one room. One room. How much is it? Fifteen. 15,000 Ugandan shillings. Are you sure? A one room is it a single room? Single. See, a single room. I don't understand. <laughs> what does one room mean? <laughs> a one room, does it mean like you keep your bed there, you keep your utensils there? Or oh, we call that a single room? So that's 15,000 here, in this neighborhood. All right, thank you. 
15,000. Yeah, yeah, no. Hey. hey, no. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, guys. Like 15,000 Ugandan shillings, that's like um $5. I don't think. I don't think so. <laughs> Unless it doesn't know. This place looks very expensive. Just look. Like even the price that we'll pay to stay where we are even even again what's it to hey man just tell me how to do it yes please in gumu they am scared of Ugandan police <laughs> but the ones we that today we were at the police station guys we went to report something they were really kind <laughs> they were really kind to us Oh, there's still some neighborhoods like this. Chatuni. Guys, as you can see, there's dogs for sale over here. In this neighborhood, there's electricity, is enough. Water is there, Wi-Fi is there. And it's just a full residential area. And what is it called? The Tamak Road is not far. As you can see, we've gotten there already. And amenities are just around, like social amenities, like the supermarket is not far from here. Hey, now crossing the road is the... Let's go. Yes, yeah, street food is here, it's not a mind. Guys, as you can see, come new dress. Yeah, it's not just like baby. Guys, this looks like the mean how we dress. In a I mean how. Hi, how much? How much is this? Huh? Forty-five thousand. Let me see. Guys, let me see how much is that. 1900. 1900 dollars. 13 dollars. Guys. Okay, I'll come to check it later. <laughs> You can see so I hate when you put after like things like this to get back to touch a cool. These clothes are cute. I can't have any rainbow. Ni rainbow. Mm -hmm. 
my Miwa. Hey. This is How much? Hmm? Hmm? We are inside the mall. Okay, so as you can see, like a lot of uh, amenities are just around the corner. There's a petrol station over there. Like most amenities are just around this place. So, which makes it an ideal rich neighborhood it's clean not crowded nice homes and this is a mall so guys later i decided to go and look for the market bukoto market and this way it is this is how it looks come along with me as i take you through the market you can see how it looks <laughs> Good. Ma, which kind of pickling is that? How about this? If I green, isn't it dry? Zimo. Hi. How much is this? Okay. Can you make it split half like? We don't sell half cup because that's a lot. So this is five. Uh, that's half. Huh? No, do for us. Don't understand. Yeah? We don't understand. I'm not saying one half. Okay, okay, just put for us then. And how much is the four thousand, three thousand? And why is this one so expensive than this one? Expensive than and this one. How much is it? The same price. Five thousand. Yeah. Same price. Ni mimi Just put for the rest. Shazi kula. Tatu tafanya ndi. Najua zifuri si kama mbosho. Mm, I just say, don't even put in paper. We have papers here. Yes. Tunakaratas. And how much is this? This one? One piece. One piece is two thousand. <laughs> hey Nana fresh ming. Missy J could pick a fish. Ningage ko and it could pick it. Kenya don't know how to cook. Hey, I'm telling you how much? Ten thousand. Can you pick a tuna mark? Hey. Fish. Hello. How are you? How are you, Papa? Yes. 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 Yes.
So guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you so much for the support. I don't take it for granted. Bye bye. See you in the next one.